Hello again. I am old enough to remember when it was common to advertise a room to let and put at the bottom, sorry, no coloureds. The same thing used to be done with jobs. Britain's first Race Relations Act in 1965 put an end to such practices and although it couldn't compel people to employ or give rooms to black people, it certainly stopped the display of advertisements specifying a particular ethnicity. There was of course a test case of this in 1976 when a man called Robert Ralph advertised his house for sale, but only to an English family. He had originally put on the sign, viewing, to avoid animosity all round, positively no coloureds. A court ordered him to take down the sign because it breached the Race Relations Act, and when he refused, he was sent to prison for contempt of court. This was getting on for 50 years ago, though, and most of us assumed that such openly discriminatory practices ended decades ago. It seems not, because in the description to this video I give a link to an, the advertisement for a job with a creative company. Scroll down and you will find that this opportunity is only open to individuals from a group that is underrepresented in the creative industries with a focus on black, Asian and ethnically diverse candidates. Now, maybe I'm reading this incorrectly, but this sounds to me to be a case of sorry, no whites. Does anybody else think that this is discriminating against applicants on the grounds of ethnic origin? The 1976 Race Relations Act, to which I also give a link, tells us bluntly that it is unlawful for a person in relation to employment by him at an establishment in Great Britain to discriminate against another in the arrangements he makes for the purpose of determining who should be offering that employment. This discrimination refers to ethnicity and race. On the face of it, it seems quite clear that the advertisement which I have put up here is doing just that very thing. The people advertising this post claim to have found a loophole which allows them to discriminate on the ground of race, but I for one find this outrageous. This practice is however on the increase. Whenever you see some organisation, whether a public body or commercial company, that is aiming for its workforce to reflect the community it serves, as the modern jargon has it, this is a subtle way of saying that white people will be at the back of the queue until enough black people and those whose families have their origins in South Asia have been recruited. The usual procedure is to try like mad to recruit the right proportion of black people and other ethnic minorities and only then start hiring white people. Quite apart from the grotesque unfairness of this, it inevitably has the effect of lowering the overall talent or skills in an organisation because often there are not enough really high class candidates who are black. And so if you want your company to reflect the community, you make do with what you can get. The BBC, for instance, has a policy of aiming to ensure that 20%, that is to say a fifth of their workforce, belong to ethnic minorities by next year. I give a link to this policy. Needless to say, the BBC are working on the assumption that getting those black people up to 20% is their priority, and also ensuring that 12% of their staff are disabled as well. They've quietly dropped the 50 part of this policy, though, which referred to the aim of having 50% of their staff being women. They now use this to mean gender identity, so it would be half their staff identifying as women, which would, of course, mean a lot more transsexuals being given jobs at the BBC. Speaking purely for myself, I find this kind of thing shocking and wholly unacceptable. Quotas which limit or restrict any ethnicity whether it's black people or white, are terrible things. Advertising a job and putting at the bottom, sorry, no whites, 
is every bit as odious as a similar advertisement saying, sorry, no coloureds.